what's going on everybody? This is Sean Hatfield from Groove Music Lessons and Recording. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at a mastering chain by a track called Jeremy's New Song by Surprise Attack. So first thing we want to do is take a listen to the song and see what we're working with before we get started. Alright, so the first thing you might notice is that you have some sections that are loud, some sections that are quiet. So you want to make sure to utilize the automation lane with your volume here. Go ahead and activate that, close up our automation. Then you might notice here that we go out bus 1 and 2, in bus 1 and 2 of the EQ. So let's go ahead and turn this on, open our EQ up. Just a couple minimal things, nothing more than 2 decibels of cuts and boosts. Then we go out bus 3 and 4, in bus 3 and 4 of our dynam dynamic channel here. Open up the first one here. We've got BX Opto by Brainworks, side chaining about 16K out of our track here. Then we got Isotopes Trash 2 plugin. We're just utilizing their compression here. Go ahead and activate that. Now from here, the channels split. That's the mastering chain splits. We're going out bus 5 and 6 in bus 5 and 6 of our dither and limiter down here as well as using a send to bus out 7 and 8 in seven and eight, bus 7 and 8 on the expand. So let's talk about bus 5 and 6 first. Go out bus 5 and 6 in bus 5 and 6 here and we've got the maximum limiter activate that as well as the master meter. This is just going to analyze your clips and peaks. Then we go back up to the dynamics out bus 7 and 8 on a send in bus 7 and 8 on this expand track here. So we open up our MSW1 by SoundSpot. This is a stereo widener, as well as a pretty substantial EQ to cut out some of that mid and mid high range. We just want to grab the far sides of our mix, our lows and our highs. Okay, so now that we've got all our plugins and our automation activated, let's take a listen and see what we've got here. Now keep in mind, if you're not listening through headphones or studio monitors or a nice home stereo system, if you're just using your computer speakers, you may not notice a difference here. But let's take a listen. So this has been a quick mastering video with Sean Hatfield from Groove Music Lessons and Recording using Pro Tools 12. Be sure to check out some more of our videos and check out Surprise Attack as well. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.